is a computer. Okay, here's the deal. It's like reviewers gave up on phones sometime around the iPhone 6S. If that's the idea of what a phone is, then there's a whole army of two to $400 phones that handle that extremely well. There are very good reasons to spend more on a phone. I have been a huge fan of portable monitors and laptop docks, pairing them with productivity and content creation phones. Uperfect makes a line of portable monitors and they sent over this, the Uperfect X, for me to share my thoughts. And I really like it. This is a full laptop dock, keyboard, trackpad, internal battery, ports, and I.O. with a touchscreen on a full 360 degree hinge. One of the major issues in getting more compute power out of your phone is simply control. Now, there's a reason why laptop and desktop style interactions have persevered. So I do, I kind of get it when someone rolls their eyes at the idea that you might want to write a document or edit a spreadsheet or cut some video from a phone. Even on a larger phone, that screen size can be a bit fiddly. So give the phone a keyboard and a trackpad and a touch screen. Uperfect's hardware here is pretty nice. The hinges have a nice stiff feel to them. There's a bit of play. There's like a little bit of wiggle when you flip the screen all the way back. Like it kind of bounces back open a little bit when you try to keep it flush. But this is still pretty respectable considering the price point at play. 1080p display here, full touch support on many premium tier smartphones and on Windows 10 computers. And this is a little bit brighter than some of the other docks that I've used in the past, which really helps when you try to take this hardware out on the go. A critical feature on this, the Uperfect has these little monitor controls. It's a gesture area, you swipe two fingers down, and you can dial in exactly the monitor settings that you'd want to use. This is really handy, and I don't think I've seen any other laptop dock style solution employ something like this. The keyboard is nicely laid out with very good key travel. It feels kind of like, but maybe not quite as nice as the excellent keys on my Pixelbook with only minor case flex to the top of the frame. The audio is super weak though. The speakers are dim. And if you have a nicer phone, chances are real good that the phone should be able to best what's going on up here. Ditto the headphone jack. As a pass-through option, it's okay, but this isn't audiophile grade. I think it's convenient, it is nice to have, but considering that I had this mostly connected to an LG V60, the V60 audio was certainly preferable. What I dig about this design though, the hardware is flatter on the sides and better laid out for ports and connectors. There's the single USB-C for phones and computers that support data and video over USB-C, and there's also a mini HDMI, which is a little annoying. I think mini is the least common flavor of HDMI, and I have a lot of full-sized and micro HDMI cables, but not a lot of mini. At least there is a mini in the box, so you can connect this to other devices that output HDMI like cameras and consoles. And connecting cables is just a little bit easier here than on my old Next Dock, simply because the sides are flat. You know, the slight taper on the Next Dock kind of made it hard to feel where to connect. And this, this is cleaner just for being easier to feel. The compromise for this layout though there is no other USB input for other accessories. Most premium phones can support USB OTG storage like flash drives and hard drives, and a lot of phones can also use things like Ethernet adapters if you need a cabled data connection. I wish the Uperfect X had just one more port on it, but still, it's tough to find anything nicer than this when trying to turn your phone into a full-fledged PC. The 10,000 milliamp hour battery on tap delivers incredible runtime for the whole setup. And even after you use your phone for more demanding computing tasks, you unplug it from this dock and your phone has been topped off. It's ready to be used as a phone again. I keep preaching this and I wish more folks would pick up on it. These kinds of accessories radically expand the functionality of a phone, but they're useful for other situations too. You know, this is a fold up and ready to go second display for a laptop battery powered so it doesn't draw additional juice from your laptop's battery. It's an external monitor for a camera. You can use it with a game console. And if you're in IT or you like to build PCs, having something like this is so much handier when testing a system than connecting it to traditional monitors and keyboards and mice. Seriously, you'll see my laptop docks 
in many of my small form factor build videos because this is so much easier to use to boot and test. This is why I get so lit up about gadgets like this. Folks complain about new phones not being worth it, but it's like pulling teeth getting folks to try new things with their phones. It's in these accessories that we can quickly and easily expand the scope of what a pocket computer can deliver. Better hardware can enable better interactions, and this U-Perfect X is kinda rad. If you're looking at ways to get more bang out of your gadget buck, accessories like these, they can really help. I'll of course leave some links down below for more info on the U-Perfect X, where you can shop one of these bad boys online. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. Supporting your favorite content creators has never been more critical than it is today, so I greatly appreciate those of you who are checking out the links down below. Maybe you're shopping a little merch. That kind of stuff really does help keep production rolling on this channel. You can catch a full list of all of my affiliates and partnerships on somegadgetguy.com, or you might consider just maybe <laughs> joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash some gadget guy. I do the script so often and I just got tongue tied on like the most important part of my patter here at the end of the video. <laughs> this list represents the coolest collection of tech pals on the web. So I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. And I will catch you all on the next review.